Amen. Dear Jesus, divine word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Friday of the third week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Venerando Yator, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to the most sacred heart of Jesus will now begin. Please rise. Kayo sa Panginoon, Alleluia, magsiawit sa Panginoon, purihin, purihin ang kanyang pangalan, ipahayag, ipahayag ang dulot niyang kaligtasan, magsiawit kayo sa Panginoon. Alleluia, magsiawit sa Panginoon. Kayong mga angkan, maghandog sa buon. Luwalhati at papuri, ialay sa Panginoon. Magsiawit kayo sa Panginoon Alleluia Magsiawit sa Panginoon In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Please offer this Mass for the increase of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life and to pray for the people whom we promise to pray. As one family, acknowledge our failures and ask for God's mercy and compassion. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we are abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Remember the days past when after you had been enlightened, you endured a great contest of suffering. At times, you were publicly exposed to abuse and affliction. At other times, you associated yourselves with those so treated. You even joined in the sufferings of those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property knowing that you had a better and lasting possession. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence. It will have a great recompense. You need endurance to do the will of God and receive what He has promised. For after just a brief moment, He who is to come shall come. He shall not delay but my just one shall live by faith, and if he draws back, I take no pleasure in him. We are not among those who draw back and perish, but among those who have faith and will possess life. To word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and He will grant you your heart's request. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way, Trust in Him, and He will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. By the Lord are the steps of a man made firm, and He approves His way. Though He fail, He does not lie prostrate, for the hand of the Lord sustains him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. We honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. For its own accord, the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain of the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wills the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that when it is sown in the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them but his own disciples he ex explained everything in private the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ i will uh, focus my sharing on the seed The seed is a potential plant or tree. Inside the seed is a small particle that will sprout if it is sown in the land, on the earth. Meaning to say, the seed should cooperate with the, the land, with the water, with the sunlight. Then the seed will start to become a plant. So it should be a healthy seed so that it will sprout and become a plant. I am a formator for years already. If somebody will come to the seminary, my first question is, is the person formable? Meaning, is the person has the potential, potentials that this will become the future SBD or the future religious. It will start from within. And the job of the formator is to give the venue for the seed of vocation to grow. That's why we had we were having formation from pre novitiate studying theology, uh, philosophy, then postulancy, then novitiate, then post-novitiate, meaning preparing already to be ordained as priest or for brothers, preparing for perpetual vows. So the, the seed of vocation 
will grow. It will take for us. It will take ten, eleven years, or sometimes twelve years before ordination. So I said, it should be a healthy seed of vocations, so that that vocation being watered, the vocation being fertilized with the help of the sunlight or the formation, so that in the future it become a large plant or tree. I said, it should begin from within. Jesus in today's gospel explained the kingdom of God. It will start with a seed. Then it will develop day after day until finally it will become a large plant. What is important is the process, the process of the seed to become a plant. For us in the formation, the process of going through formation years so that it will grow and become a healthy religious, a healthy SBD that will become asset to preach the good news in season and out of season. Let's all stand. Full of hope and confidence, we make our prayer to God the Father, anxious but increase of His presence in our life. As we say, divine sower, make our lives fruitful. Divine sower, make our lives fruitful. That the church may continue to grow and be a symbol of justice, love, and truth in the world. We pray. Divine Sower, make our lives fruitful. That as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day seek God, even in our difficulties and sufferings. We pray. Divine Sower, make our lives fruitful that families especially our children may grow in the ways of grace and mature into christ-like people we pray divine sower make our lives fruitful that the sick may be strengthened in their faith by uniting their sufferings with christ we pray Divine Sower, make our lives fruitful. That our beloved dead may reap the fruits of peace and joy and serenity in God's kingdom. We pray. Divine Sower, make our lives fruitful. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our own intentions. We pray, Divine Sower, make our lives fruitful. For the increase of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life, let us pray to the Lord. Divine Sower, make our lives fruitful. God, our Father, Give us new awareness and strength to be committed to the service of our brothers and sisters so that we may let, we let your light shine toward all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
receive your forgiveness, O Lord. Lord, we lift up to you all these gifts we offer for your glory. We will eat this living bread, we will drink this saving cup. Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for although you have no need of our praise yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ, O oh Lord, and so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation. The hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves turn away from you, on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another to your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, 
celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ and His command will fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. <clears throat> We're about to give His life to set us free as He reclined us a supper. He Himself took bread into His hands and giving you thanks, He said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to His disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessings in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of a new and eternal covenant which will be <clears throat> for that for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus, who left us this pledge of His love. We offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. <clears throat> Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also, together with your Son, in the saving banquet, graciously to endure us with the Holy Spirit. May make your church a sign of unity, an instrument of your peace among all people. May keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Honesto, our Bishop, and all the bishops, the clergy, the consecrated persons, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son to bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, with our sisters and brothers who have died in your friendship. Bring us to an ending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, with the fullness of your peace, will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. <clears throat> Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, he may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as he await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously to the peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace to you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Oh 
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Praise to the Sacred Heart. Praise to the Sacred Heart who wrought our salvation. Praise to the Sacred Heart who wrought our salvation. We praise you, Lord Jesus Christ, because we know the love you have for us. We thank you for your word, which reveals to us the love of your heart. We thank you for this source of grace, which streams forth to eternal life. We praise you, open heart of Jesus. Through you, we have access to the Father. We praise you because you loved your own who were in the world to the very end. We praise you for your love that is stronger than death. We thank you for setting the earth on fire. Praise to the Sacred Heart who wrought our salvation. Praise and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor and power and strength to our God forever and ever. Amen. Short reading. Many people followed him, and he cured them all, but he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold, my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight. I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench, until he brings justice to victory, and in his name the Gentiles will hope. Jesus, full of love, had mercy on the people, all who were despised by others, all who were in need, found understanding and refuge with him. He gave food to the hungry. He brought the good news to the poor. He invited those who were tired from carrying their heavy loads and gave them rest. The eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, those who hope in his steadfast love that he may deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Lord Jesus Christ, rich as you were, you made yourself poor for our sake in order to make us rich by means of your poverty. We thank you for your love you showed us. Help us to help one another as members of your body, that we may not get tired of doing good. Open our eyes to the needs of others. Open our hands that we may share with others what we have. Jesus, full of mercy for your people, form our hearts according to your heart. In the silence of our hearts, we present to the compassionate heart of Jesus our needs, prayers, and intentions. May the darkness of sin and the night of unbelief vanish before the light of the Word and the Spirit of grace. And may the heart of Jesus live in the hearts of all. Amen. Prayer for Grace Amid Transition Almighty and ever-living God, we pray for the courage and compassion to embrace new beginnings and rise from any crisis. 
we continue to ask for your protection and guidance so that with your healing hand, we may overcome every effect of this pandemic and any other crisis that may cross our path. Guide our health workers so that your healing love and strength may flow through their hands. Guide our leaders so that truth and empathy may be the measure of their service. Guide our spiritual frontliners so that they may help us find fervor and courage to spread God's love and peace amid the chaos and suffering. May your church be a sign of hope, comfort, and love to all, even during the dark times of our history. As we embrace this changed world and go into the future, we implore you to fill our hearts and be one with you more than ever. We look forward, renewed and strengthened, to celebrate for whatever lies ahead. For it is only by your grace, Lord, and the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary that we can pursue all these endings and beginnings. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You have given them bread from heaven. Containing in itself all sweetness. Let us pray. O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us as a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood we may ever feel within us the fruit of your redemption. You live and rule, world without end. Amen.
Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Please rise for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Santa Maria Ven. 